Hi, everybody. It is uh, September 1st. God, this year has really just disappeared. Um, it feels really good to be back in the room here. Um, I'm going to start uh, just by saying again, thank you to everybody who uh, enjoyed the, uh, the video tour. And I enjoyed it so much. Anytime I go off to do any work, even if it's just one off, so I'll, uh, I'll shoot off uh, some uh, video of, of the adventure because it's really fun. It makes me look at the halls in a slightly different way, too, when I'm walking around talking to different people who are working there. And I love some of the uh, venues we played that had almost like museum-like qualities in them with collections of um, posters and memorabilia. And uh, it uh, was something that normally we don't end up seeing on the road. You end up just going and doing the, the gig and leaving and not really exploring the halls. So I really, really uh, I got into it. I loved it. And I'll continue doing that. And uh, I talked with uh, Russ. We kept trying to, uh, Kunkel, that we kept trying to find an opportunity to go over his kit and uh, all of that. And just there was never an opportunity because by the time we would finish the sound check, um, then Lyle would be taking pictures of the halls. Um, he was doing like really long exposure things, so there couldn't be any activity. Nobody could walk through the hall because it would blur in a, in a long uh, exposure shot. But really cool stuff that he was into. And then when he would finish, then we had the piano tuner there and they wanted quiet. So it just, so I'm going to, I talked to Russ and we'll do a, a, a go over all of his stuff. Um, when the band, when the immediate family's back together and we will, um, do that. And I'll, I'll get, uh, the, I'll get the other guys in the band to do a gear also, uh, to see the difference between, um, Steve Postel, who really loves gear and, uh, he is, uh, and he's like deeply into, you know, like, uh, not so much pedals, but he just really, really enjoys that. And then you got Waddy at the other end who just takes his guitar and a chord and plugs it into the amp and that's it. So I'll, we'll do that. Um, it, it's so hot here. I know it's hot everywhere now. There's no global warming. It's fine. That's, that's a myth. But it's going to be like 105 today here in uh, Pasadena and it's supposed to be in this range at least through Wednesday of next week. And then they're saying they want us not to water uh, anymore or maybe one day a week, which would destroy. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy times. Um, since I got home, I, I finally I finished all my books delivered yesterday that were ordered during the course of the tour. Um, a pile of T-shirts went out and uh, we're I'm waiting for Blue to finish printing up a whole bunch of artwork that was ordered so I can get that shipped off. So everything's chugging along and I've been doing, just getting up really early just to get out and do yard work um, before it gets too hot and then working again in the evening. But I wanted to get back on schedule here and I'm gonna sort out for the clubhouse members. Um, I'm looking, I'm gonna hopefully maybe next Wednesday we can start our clubhouse up again and I'll look at the schedule too to do the one-on-ones. Um, <sighs> It's, it's been, it's been a full, uh, again, I feel like the, uh, the plate spinner or the juggler on the old Ed Sullivan show. I got so many things going on. Um, but, uh, I wanted to put some music up today. And uh, now over the course of my career, I've worked on a lot of albums that I really enjoyed that never got re finished or released um, for, for various reasons uh, that a lot of times we were never even privileged to know why they didn't get completed and, and aren't out there. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to go back cause I was just thinking I'm having just spent the past two and a half months with Jim Cox on the road. I was thinking about this project that, uh, was the band was, uh, Jim Cox, myself and Abe Laboreal, uh, Jr. Uh, on drums, who's been with McCartney for years now, and I love playing with Abe. And it was a project we did at Village Recorders uh, a number of years back 
for a guy named, uh, his, uh, I think his name was Stefan, but he just called himself Step, S-T-E-P. And I think, as I recall, he was from Switzerland and he played guitar and sang. And we did this album. And um, it, it, then I was wondering whatever happened to it. And I bumped into him at the um, Music Messe in Frankfurt, Germany, their, big, their version of uh, the NAMM show. Uh, it's a massive trade show. And he said that the, I think it was the issue was the backers who were financing this didn't like it and had him go in when he got back home and, and, and do another project, uh, which I've, I've never heard. Um, so what I have is just a, a rough mix that I got uh, when we recorded at Village. This was never mixed. It was uh, never finished. Um, but I really enjoyed it, and we all had so, so much fun with it. It was really disappointing to hear that it was never completed. Um, but you just, you don't know. There's so many variables that come into play when you are, um, when you're working on a project, and uh, especially nowadays, because it's so, so, so many projects aren't with a label anymore. They're all being independently financed and so you've got other people making decisions uh, on it that uh, you're even unaware of or you don't agree with but you're just you're hired you're a hired gun and you go in and you do your job and then uh, you move on so I was going to play a few of the tracks from this um, just because I really enjoyed it and nobody was ever going to hear this um, so I thought I'd share it with you but again this is not complete but this is step singing and playing guitar and myself on bass, Jim Cox on keyboards, and uh, Abe Jr. on drums. And when we were recording this, they, they had already uh, done pre, um, some pre-production on this. So there were some sequences and some things that we were playing too. But it was really a fun project. I mean, he was really into it. And they set up some projectors in there and they had, while we were recording, they had film going all over all of us. I mean, it was, it was really an interesting thing. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a shame that it never got there. Uh, before I do this also, I want to give a, a shout out because I, I, my heart is absolutely breaking uh, for the people of Jackson, Mississippi, um, where their water treatment plant is completely screwed and the people have had literally no water to, to bathe or to to wash dishes or anything, they're, they're just getting, uh, it, it, they're trying to bring in as much bottled water as they can so they have something to drink. But the, the chaos of that whole situation down there is just heartbreaking to see what these people are going through. And you're sitting there, you know, in this huge major city in a, in a state is like, you know, just it's, it's tough, tough to watch. And you think, how, how does this happen? I mean, we're sitting here launching rockets back to the moon and all this stuff going on, yet they can't have potable, you know, drinkable water uh, there. And there's who knows when that's going to be up and running again. They're probably going to have to rebuild the, the water plant down there. But uh, it's the craziest times, you know, and there's a massive fire going north of where I live. I mean, it's nowhere, not near me up in, it's up in Castaic, but, and it is just, I mean, it's, roaring and I, my heart goes out to the all the firefighters who are in all of this gear and it's like 108 degrees or 110 degrees plus the fire um it's tough so so um so here's step uh this one is called nature calling so i'm gonna play a few of these i was happy just to get the i'm glad i ended up with the board mix on it just so i would have something documented so here we go Yeah. 
places where I want to be. And there are no more questions all about it. Jim Cox and with Abe. Uh, it's so much fun. And, and Steph was really a good guitar player. I mean, he just like great rhythm and stuff. But again, this is not finished and unmixed. Uh, try another one. This is uh, the train station. Take a corner, take a ride Some place cool, that's my destination Forget about the troubles, you just step inside
One more. This one's called Galaxy.
So none of those were mixed or finished. Um, I was just grateful to get a, a rough mix when I left the session. But uh, there's a, I've got the whole album. I mean, it's, it's really some great stuff on it. Um, but it's a funny business at times. Um, but again, there were, I've worked on a lot of projects that never saw the light of day. Others you thought should never see the light of day, and they ended up being hits. So you, you just don't know. But um, so that's that. I'm going to run off now and take care of a bunch of stuff. I've got a honey-do list that uh, built up during the course of the tour that uh, makes the Dead Sea Scrolls look like a little pamphlet. Um, so I've got lots of stuff to do here. I'm just trying to get things done based on the weather. So the stuff I'm going to do right now is all um, indoors. So I don't have to be out there uh, completely getting sunstroked out. But boy, it is toast when you walk outside and it's like it looks nice and then you open the door and you go, holy crap, it's like walking into a furnace. Um, again, boy, all these problems that are going on around us, I hope people are all okay and animals are okay. When I see these fires that are out, you know, like in the mountains and the hills, you know, it may not be near any people, but there's a ton of wildlife out there that suffers tremendously. Um, during these, and if they don't die, they're really in, you know, catastrophic shape from burns and injuries. So it's, uh, it's sad for everything. But um, that's that. I'll, I'll sort out the clubhouse and the one-on-ones. I'll get that together. Um, and uh, just really excited. we got a bunch of film festivals coming up. Uh, where they're going to be premiering the immediate family documentary film that Denny Tedesco has made. And uh, it's really going to be fun to sit with an audience and see what their response is uh, to the film. It's one thing um, for us to see it, um, you know, because we're l looking at it from a whole different direction. But to see what an, an audience is going to think of it will be really interesting. But, you know, based on the quality of the movie The Wrecking Crew that Denny made. Um, this is really amazing. It's really, really a great film. And then we're going to be gearing up for, for gigs coming up uh, in uh, November and uh, December. And uh, just back in the saddle again. So take care, everybody. It's great to be back. And I've missed everybody um, in doing this. And, and I'm going to um, I'm going to, when I'm a little more relaxed, um, I'm going to play along with some of Lyle's things from the live album and I'll, I'll show you the bass parts, uh, for the, for the bass people out there. Um, of a, the, I got a board mix from one of the shows and I'll go through it and pick some songs and just show, um, what I was doing for the past two and a half months. So all my best wishes to everybody and I will uh, see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.